That's Station 95.7. It's Chris Edge. I'm on with Pat Dickinson from the Lincoln Theater. Pat, if we could go back in time a little bit first and just tell us when you got involved with the Lincoln Theater. My partner and I, Mark, um, used to come to this place when it was Gillies and we used to do shows, fraternity shows, and I would do sound and my band would play in this place. And yeah. so we always had a, a fondness for this room. We always thought it sounded awesome. Um, and, you know, at one point, gosh, it was probably what late nineties. We were, we were looking, we were promoters at that point, yep. looking for a place to, to be able to produce uh, shows in and, we came back to this place and had a great opportunity to get it. So we've had it now for 20 years. And would you say, if you look back on those 20 years, most of them have probably been pretty good. Yeah. I mean, for the first 10 years, I mean, you know, you were still in town in radio and you kind of knew what was going on in this place and the kind of shows we were doing then. I mean, I shoot for 10 years. I mean, we were bartending, Mark and I would be behind the bar bartending because we needed the extra money. Yeah. Um, but you know, we finally got it to a kind of a more of a comfortable spot where, you know, we didn't have to work our you know fingers to the bone every night and we had great staff and, you know, we, we added on to the place. We did a, a balcony addition, uh, and increased our capacity to, to have bigger shows and, you know, it kind of grew with downtown. I mean, when we first opened in 2001, there wasn't a lot of things going on in downtown Raleigh. Right. It was, uh, you know, just a couple restaurants and, and really a couple bars. Well, take us to March. I'm, I'm assuming you're you're operating in 2020, business as usual, and then March 13th, 14th, somewhere in that window, right? The state just says, "Hey, you've got to you've got to shut down." Oh yeah, we we canceled uh, hundreds, you know, at least a hundred shows. Um, wow. I mean, typically we do 200 shows a year. On a good year, we'll do 80,000 ticketed uh, patrons, and on a you know slow year, it's more like 60. So we were on pace to have a, a record year, and uh, then we were ordered to shut down. We had a, a, a sold out two sold out shows for the weekend of the 13th which was a uh, st patrick's day weekend and um yeah we had to cancel those and and it's just been you know this slow downhill burn since then you know like okay well you know we'll wait till summer and then we'll get things going again and, and now it's like the, it's just the reality set in and we're, yeah. it's like man we are not going to be open for a while talk about the situation that you're in then because you're you haven't generated revenue for what i guess is probably eight months now and yep, that's correct. Are you, I mean, how are you surviving? How do you pay bills? How do you? We were fortunate to uh, to get a PPP loan uh, that helped a little bit. Um, I mean, we've been selling some T-shirts, uh, you know, online. We got an online store set up that started kind of rolling in uh, at the beginning beginning of August. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's it's been kind of like okay, we're just watching funds just start to go down you know yeah. I mean, mark and i are very frugal people we try to save as much money as we can and you know fortunately we we had some money set aside uh you know for either projects or just because we like to have money set aside yeah um you know we're just ripping right through that as fast as it, it's you know it can go out the door i mean we've got bills and insurance and you know mortgages and rent and and all sorts of stuff that we have to keep paying what do you think the future of the business is i think there's going to be a lot of changes um on the way things happen um, there'll be a lot of safety protocols in place that and expenses for shows that'll um, will start to happen. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm hopeful that we can see something similar to what we were all used to seeing in the in the glory days of seeing live music. Uh, you know, in 2022. Pat, has anybody from the city or the state reached out to you or other owners to sort of discuss the situation? No, there haven't been. I mean, right now, um, just because of the type of ABC permit we have, um, you know, we're a a club and lounge permit with a private ABC permit, then we kind of fall in the category, unfortunately, as a lot of the bars that don't have a restaurant. So, um, you know, right now bars are allowed to do something uh, at, uh, I think it's 30% capacity of their outdoor seating only. Of course, we're an indoor venue. Um, We can only serve alcohol outside. So nothing really makes sense for indoors for us. Yeah. What's your message to those folks that are listening that are, are kind of on the fence about giving not really sure if save that stage is a worthy cause to them what would uh, what could you say to maybe help tip the scales a little bit well i mean you know anything is would be great i mean there's a, you know at least a, several venues i know in the area that are involved with save that stage 
and we appreciate you coming up with the idea and anything helps at this point. I, I know there's probably venues that are in worse shape than us and there's probably a few that are in better shape, but um, you know, I, I would hate to see any of these venues start to shut down. I mean, uh, they have started shutting down in Asheville um, and mm -hmm. other places in North Carolina and certainly other places across the United States. And, yeah. and some of them have been around for a lot longer than 20 years. Wow. So it's, it's unfortunate that some of these venues are, are not going to be there. You know, yeah. when think we get to see daylight and out of this thing. Pat Dickinson from Lincoln Theater. Thanks for spending the time with me this morning. Hey, man, Chris Edge, thank you. Uh, I've known you a long time, and I appreciate you uh, reaching out to us. All right, so visit thatstation.net for details on Save That Stage. We've teamed up with Band Together to support our local concert venues. You've just heard the need from Pat. Uh, we'll talk to Rob Walsh from Local 506 tomorrow. And um, the need is great, and we need you. Thatstation.net has details on Save That Stage.